Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today I have a question from Michelle, so I'll read you what she says here. It's just a short one. She says, Hi Cyber Sue. I want to know why I compare my ex to everyone I date. I've been single for over a year now, but no one I date matches up to my ex. What can I do about this situation? Well, my first question is, why are you giving your ex so much power over your happiness and a future potential relationship with somebody? They're your ex for a reason. And this is this kind of situation that I always say when people aren't really ready to date. Because if you're still thinking about them, pining about them, and missing every little thing, you're never going to be able to have somebody match up to them because you're not, you're not over them. You're stuck in that mode. What happens sometimes, and I find this more so with women than with guys, and someone might write in about this, but I do find that men, when they're over a situation, they've thought about it, they've been checked out for a while. Women, sometimes we take it a little longer because we think about all the good things that we had. There might only be two or three, but we keep thinking about those really good things, not all the things that led us to break up. And this is one thing that I really wanted to get across here, is that I'm not trying to tell you to be pessimistic and negative in your thinking, but sometimes you have to think about those things that didn't work. Sometimes they might just be small little things, but they were the big catalyst in why you broke up. This is something that I want everybody who's dealing with a breakup to think about. If it was a good situation, you'd still be together you'd find a way to make it work if it was a really good, solid connection. So comparing everyone you meet to your ex, who you're not over yet, is gonna cause you more heartache. It's gonna stress you out continually because you're giving your ex that much power, as I said earlier. You have to change up this thinking that they're the god of your universe because really what it is is you're stuck on a few of those good things. I've talked to so many clients, when they tell me why they broke up with someone, they'll say, I, I really honestly don't know, but this is what was good about it. And they'll remember the first couple of dates and how the guy made them feel on those first few dates, but they don't talk about all the things where they weren't compatible on the next 50 dates. So this is something that as you're making your decision in life and choosing a partner, you need to weigh everything out. Not just the good, not just the bad. Put it down because no relationship is going to be perfect. There's always going to be something. But what I think you should do here, Michelle, is you need to write down the things that didn't work in your relationship. Focus on those for a while. Again, I hate to sort of make people focus on, on the negative. But in this situation, you need to remember why you broke up. You also need to take some time away from dating. You need to take a hiatus and just sit back and maybe write a note out, put it on the mirror, put it on the fridge, whatever, and just keep reminding yourself why you're not with that person. It doesn't mean you have to dislike them or never see them again or never talk to them again. But until you get over the initial breakup aftermath, because you're not there yet, you're still stuck, you are going to keep repeating this pattern. A year isn't that long, it may feel like a lifetime, but it's really not that long to get over somebody you truly loved, especially if you were with them for a long time. So take that into account as well. You don't have to get back out dating right away. I can say to you, in all honesty, you're probably a few, maybe another six months to a year away from it, from dating. But once you get back out there again, your head's gonna be a bit more clear because you're going to think about the reasons you're not with your ex. There could be some amazing features that they had that you would like to have with that par other partner coming towards you. But until you can get rid of those other things that you want them to be exactly like your partner, you shouldn't be dating. You really need to take some time and think about it. I would suggest maybe talk to a counselor because maybe there's some stuff in there that you don't even know that's stuck. Sometimes if we have one or two really long-term relationships, oh, it's windy here. <laughs> it can be a problem for us because we don't have a lot of other things to compare to.
I really suggest that you try as hard as you possibly can not to date somebody who resembles your ex because this is another thing people do. They have a whole clone on their, you know, five or six people that are quite similar looking. And that's another reason that you have a hard time getting over your ex because they remind you of them. So all these things I'm suggesting here, just take a little bit of time, get, go out to a different dating pool, try something when you're finally ready to go back and do that again, that maybe you haven't, a type of guy you haven't dated before. Try something completely different. You don't want to date the same people all the time anyway. You want to expand and evolve into a, your higher good. So you want to be able to experience different scenarios, different situations. So try dating somebody that's completely out of your normal, you know, what you would normally date and just go and have some fun for a while and don't compare anybody to anybody. Make sure you read those, those things about why it didn't work with your ex. Keep reading them, get those into your thoughts so that when you do go back out and start dating again, your mind will be clear and fresh and ready to meet somebody new. So thanks for writing, Michelle. I really appreciate getting your question. Thanks everyone for tuning into Dear Cyber Sue. Please leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.